Hello and welcome back. So, so far in this section, we have learned that a function code gets executed inside an execution context. An execution context is executed inside a call stack. And an execution context is created in two phases, the creation phase and the execution phase. During the creation phase, JavaScript engine scans over the function code and for each variables, parameters, and functions it creates a property in the variable object and it assigns it with some initial value if the variable or function is created using var keyword it will be assigned with undefined but if the variable or function is created using let or const keyword it will be assigned with uninitialized and if the function is created using function declaration syntax in that case that function is assigned with a pointer to the function definition so this all happens during the creation phase and during the creation phase, the lexical environment also gets created using which during the execution phase, the scope chain is created. And during the creation phase, the value of this variable is also set with some initial value. Now, after the creation phase is complete, the execution phase of execution context starts. And in the execution phase, JavaScript engine will scan the function code again. And this time, it will set the variables and functions declared in that execution context with their actual values. Okay. And then in this phase, the function code is executed. So let's understand what happens behind the scenes. And let's understand it with a simple example. So here we have a very simple code. We have already seen this code in our previous lectures also. So, first of all, when this code will be executed in the browser by the JavaScript engine, JavaScript engine is going to create a global execution context for this code. And in this global execution context, inside the variable object, the first name and last name variables will be stored and it will be assigned with uninitialized. So, this will happen during the creation phase and they are assigned with uninitialized because these variables are created using let keyword. And then in the variable object, there will be a property with the function name, calculate age. And since this function is created using function declaration syntax, it will be assigned with a pointer to the function definition. All right, then the lexical environment will also get created. In the lexical environment, we will have an environment record, which will point to the variable object. And we will also have another property in lexical environment called outer, which will be set to null, because since this is global execution context, here we have all the code which is in global scope so there is no outer scope for global scope and that's why outer property of lexical environment is set to null then in the global scope we have also learned that this variable points to the window object the global object when we are running the javascript code in non-strict mode but if the code is running in strict mode then this variable will be set to undefined so this is creation phase of the global execution context now once the creation phase of global execution context is complete the execution phase will start and in the execution phase javascript engine will again scan over all the code written in global scope and there in the variable object it is going to set the variables and functions with their actual values as you can see and the value of this variable will also be determined during the execution phase only and during the execution phase also in the global execution context this variable will point to global object in non-strict mode and it will be set to undefined in strict mode now from the global execution context we are also calling this calculate age function and when the calculate age function will be called an execution context for that calculate age function will also get created so now the execution of global execution context will stop and the execution of calculate age function will start and during the creation phase of the execution context of calculate age function a variable object will be created which will store all the parameters the variables and inner functions with some initial value set for them a lexical environment will be created and some initial value will be set for this variable and after the creation phase of this calculate age execution context is complete the execution phase will start and what happens in the execution phase in the execution phase the javascript engine will again scan over this calculate age function and whatever variables it is storing here in this execution context that will be set with their actual values okay and the actual value of 
this variable will also be determined and that will be assigned to it then from within this calculate age function we are also calling this is full age function so when this is full age function will be called an execution context for that is full age function will also get created so we learned that execution context gets created in two phases creation phase and execution phase so in the creation phase variable object will be created and it is going to store all the variables assigned with this uninitialized because inside this is full age function we are declaring one variable which is this is eligible so that will be stored in the variable object and since it is created using let keyword it will be assigned with uninitialized then for this is full age a lexical environment will also get created this is full age is sitting lexically within this calculate age function and it is also sitting lexically within global scope so the outer variable here is pointing to the lexical environment of calculate age function as well as lexical environment of global scope okay and since this is a regular function we are calling it like a regular function this variable will also point to the global object in case of non strict mode or it will be set to undefined in case of strict mode so this is during the creation phase and during the execution phase again the javascript engine will scan over this is full age function and what it will do is it will assign the variables and arguments of that function with the actual values and it is going to execute the code written inside that function all right now once the execution phase is complete that means the execution of this is full age function is complete and once the execution of the function is complete its execution context is popped off from the execution context and now the execution of calculate age function will resume so now this calculate age function is the currently executing function and as you can see after we have called this is full age function there is no more code to execute so that means the execution of this calculate age function is also complete and once the execution of a function is complete its execution context will be removed from the call stack and now the execution of global execution context will resume so now this global execution context is the currently executing execution context now this global execution context even if its execution phase is complete it will still remain in the call stack as long as our javascript program is running in the browser only when the execution of javascript program is complete that means once we close the tab where our application is running then only this global execution context will be removed from the call stack otherwise this global execution context will stay in the call stack as long as the javascript program is running so now i hope now you understand how a function or a code is executed inside an execution context and how the execution context is created it is created in two phases creation phase and execution phase so what happens in the creation phase and what happens in the execution phase now you are already aware of now i know whatever topics we have learned so far in this section that is not easy to grasp and it might make beginners a little bit confused so what i will suggest is you can go through the rest of this course if you are a complete beginner you don't need to go through this section you can go through rest of the lectures of this course and once you are confident enough with javascript language then you can come back to this section and then you can go through each of these lectures again and if you are not understanding the concepts in one go i'll suggest you to watch these lectures two or three times and i'm pretty sure that if you watch these lectures two or three times these concepts will start becoming clear okay so this is all from this lecture now in this section i'm going to cover two more topics one topic is related to closer in javascript and another topic is how the callback functions of an event is executed in the call stack so these are the two more lectures we are going to cover in this section and i'm not going to cover garbage collection in this section instead i'll cover it at the end of the course all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day